The strawberry beds have begun, and there's a lot of work happening to get those ready. We have one bed down and 50 plants in and then we have this bed where we ran out of cardboard and we ran out of dirt out of soil so we have soil coming in the next day or two I'm trying to find as much cardboard as I can find um, from our friends or family here's the other issue we have um, this bucket is water and I can only fill up that halfway because I'm not strong enough but our water source is all the way on the other side of the house, as you can see over there. She is helping me fill buckets, and we haul it for right now. Eric picked up some extra hose, because we haven't had to run water out here in such a long time. And then it dawned on me, oh yeah, we're gonna have to put some water out here. But anyways, so this is it for this bed. 50 are in here. We've got 100 more plants coming later this evening, 100 more um, bare roots. We won't get anything off of these beds probably this year because we had to, we put them in late for the season, but that's okay. Um, you know, they'll be here next year. Oh yeah, and see that, there's a tree there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, we lost that guy in the winter. We kind of lost this guy. So we're replacing a few trees okay. today. We'll it is super bright out here. Um, we are unseasonably warm today. So, the sun is shining so bright, but I can hardly see the screen, but I'm hoping to show you. I wanted to just zoom in and see how we did this. So this is the little strawberry bare root right here. So under this bed is cardboard, ton of topsoil, and a little bit of manure mixed in with that. Then we came back in and put our holes in and filled them with garden mix. Uh, or potting soil, whatever you'd like to call it, an organic blend. So each hole individually got a little bit on the bottom. We mounded it, put the put the berries on, and then topped it with some more organic um, mix. So that is what we're doing. Here they are, two strawberry beds in our orchard. And we managed to shove 100 plants in this bed that is closest to me and 50 in the other one. That is four different types. And again, I am not a fan of straight lines. So I just think there's something magical or romantic about winding pathways. So that's what I choose to do. Now, when you get closer, you'll see some stepping stones where we've got more of those that are going to go in the other bed so that it divides the two sides of the beds. That's our strawberry patches for now. Mm -hmm. 